What's happening? It's Miss Cool coming at you, putting some makeup on, trying to get with the program here. But I had some things on my mind, okay? Here's what I had on my mind. Bear with me. I'm going to talk real fast because I don't know if my phone can hold much more contact content because I have another uh, memory chip thing coming. Or I could put it on a hard drive. Anyway, besides that fact, I want to talk to you about how some people intentionally choose jobs where they got to sit down. They ain't going to be stressed out much, I can tell you that. What I'm saying is they can't work in the kitchen. What I'm saying is people that have jobs like Miss Cool had, you can't sit around, it shows up. Now these MFs, did you think I meant something bad? Mighty fine. What are you thinking? Well, you can think the other way too. So some MFs pick jobs that intentionally have them in a position where they don't really have to do much. Okay, so we all know, if you don't know, I'm here to tell you, the food business, you got to know what you're doing. You got to get off your ass. The kitchen's hot. There's fires. You got clocks. You got a chef walking up to you saying, hey, you see this plate right here? I want you to make 350 of them. Now, I'm just sharing some wisdom. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying, if you get trained in a position, in a, in a position like this, it can help you in your life. But it also could be kind of a little sword. Like when you see other people in their jobs, they are complaining, oh my goodness, I worked hard, and you ain't done shit. You haven't done shit. You've been sitting on your ass all day long. You haven't done anything. You haven't cleaned. You haven't cooked. You haven't prepared. You don't have a time. You're just kind of like blowing back and forth wondering what you're going to do. Well, trust me, there's plenty of shit to do when you're in a restaurant. In fact, in any facility that you work, Miss Cool's here to tell you guys there's something to do. And if you can't find nothing to do, I'm sorry. But you know what? I'm just coming at you. So I had these thoughts. Now, I know people have to go to college. I know I'm talking fast, you guys. I'm doing it intentionally. I know people have to go to college. And I appreciate everybody that's a heart doctor and all the rest of this stuff. And they have a different type of stress than a laborer. Okay? Because I had jobs where I had to use my mental more than my labor. Like, I work for two newspapers. And it's, trust me, it's stressful. Like to do sales and do commissions and stuff like that, yeah? Because Miss Cool's done that too. But here's what I like to do. I like to talk to people. I like to serve them. I like to kind of have the respect of that. Because if you don't respect somebody that's working in a kitchen and stuff, then, then you know what? You need to go back to school and learn something about life. Because uh, people that are working in the food industry, they're not sitters, man. Did you know that? Um, not to mention there's some crazy ass line cooks. These are the dudes that are on working on a line. Not only are they crazy, they got weapons. They got freaking knives. I've seen them go off. I'm not saying that they threw any knives at me, but they have a lot of fun in the kitchen. They can get kind of crazy and shit. Sometimes I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's my age or what it is. Check out the makeup, you guys. I don't know if it's my age or, uh. Or, or what it is, but sometimes you like to just get on here and talk. Now, while I've been talking, I had a thought come to my mind. Guess what it was? All right, I'm going to tell you. This freaking dude I met, guess what he did? He climbed up telephone poles with those spikes on his boots. No shit. He said he fell one time and got splinters all on the insides of his thighs. I was like, damn, that's a hard-ass job. You know, people got different types of jobs, you know. Meanwhile, you got to be like uh, mindful of how you're handling your own emotions and feelings. So it's like, God, duo, you know, unless you're going to be like hung up somewhere. So when Miss Cool comes on here, I do have some thoughts that I want to put down and who cares what it's about, you know. As long as I'm expressing myself, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever met somebody and you know that there's more in them? It's like they sing really light. They're like, mm. it's like, come on, man. I know there's something behind that. I mean, you don't want to pressure somebody to do things that they don't want to, but it's a good idea to encourage them. Because if you can encourage a child also and tell them that they're going to be everything and more, they're probably going to believe that. But you got between zero and five to do it. So don't be playing around with your kids and stuff. Tell them like I told my children, you know, like my son, he's got a big old truck, right? 
He was drawing trucks when he was in kindergarten, big ones. Sure enough, he's driving one. Big tires, everything. So that was in him young. Okay, so don't tell a child, you know, oh, you don't want to do that. You don't want a big truck. What you want is this or that. Let him have what he wants. Support him, all right? Quit playing around, you weird old moms. Because, like, you meet these adults and they're, like, still on this rant about, you know, how they didn't have parents or how they didn't do this. No, they had parents, but it wasn't good enough. I mean, shit, they bought them freaking homes. They've, like, given them security and... And they're just not grateful. If a person is not grateful, Miss Cool's here to tell you something. They're just going to be unhappy with everything. They're going to be ha unha unhappy in a lot of things. Now, we're going to get real here because we're adults, right? Everybody knows the biggest sexual organ in your body. What is it? And do not say it's your private. It's your mind, dude. It's your mind. That's the biggest sexual organ that you have is your mind so you have to work your mind okay to to reach a level of orgasm right i don't care two three name the number all i'm saying is we're adults here and i'm trying to talk to you guys today because miss school wanted to get some stuff out about the kitchen how people will intentionally pick jobs where they know they ain't got to do shit See, and I didn't do that. I just was amazed with, like, the cooking and, like, the, the food and the and just throwing it down in a kitchen, you know, with a lot of, you know, people that really can show you a lot about life and, you know, how to do things big. Now, I try to cook here, but the main thing you do is you've got to keep cleaning. When you get to be about 65, all you do is think about the stuff in life that meant something. You remember memories, you remember working, you remember people that loved you, that cared. And you think about God. You think about, not because you're scared to die, because I know a shitload of people that don't believe in Christ. I know a shitload of people that are atheists. That's not what I'm talking about. You start kind of wanting to have this hunger and appetite for why. Who is a creator? Is this all a coincidence? Uh, you know, stuff like that. And so I've learned, since I missed a lot, you guys, I'm going to be honest. Since Miss Cool missed a lot since I had a baby young, Miss Cool missed some stuff. Okay, my sister's not a genius, but I think she could have been right about some of this stuff. If you're watching, Paul, I do love you. She was right about some things. She's very intelligent. She's one of these people that are mechanically inclined. I'm not. I've been working on it. I've been trying to take things apart and put them back together. Most of the time, I just give up. I'm like, I get frustrated. I mean, that's probably why the people that have been in my life are musicians. Because I'm like, to my guitar. Would you tune it? And they're like, well, why don't you tune I want you to tune it. Okay. So, it's not like I can't. And people have tuners on their phones and stuff. The point is, press yourself to do things that are hard. You know, get out of your comfort zone. It sucks, man. But back to when I had a baby young, I didn't learn to get along really good with 17 and 18-year-old girls. I didn't. I get along fine with men. Is that sick? And it's not because, you know, I'm a female and I just, I just rather be around men. I don't know. They're, they're nice. They... They let you cuddle them, talk to them, feed them. They're just sweet. I like men. I think they're cool. A bunch of hens can be mean to you. Girls can get really mean. So uh, Miss Cool missed a lot of that because, you know, I was raising a baby and stuff. And a lot of people think it's passive aggressive if you talk about your past. But you know what? I think if you talk about your past, it helps you kind of like close things they are kind of like there. Like some people get up in the morning and they're like, why am I still mad? Well, because it's unresolved. Maybe you need to go over it. Maybe you need to think about it. And maybe you need to talk about your past. It's okay. I mean, what the hell have we got to fear, man? I'm not living there, obviously. Look at the wrinkles. I'm old. Uh, or uh, I've changed. Or it's a new year. Whatever you want to see to put that mark in a book and stop is here. I'm like, really? I can talk about the past. I'm not going to freak out about it. I learn things. Okay? What freaks me out are these people that never talk about their bad past. 
Dude, use it. You can encourage somebody. You don't have to live in the shadows. And here's another thing that bothers me. These people that get jobs, like I said, they are intentionally sitting down. They're intentionally not having to do much. Okay? They're like, I ain't doing shit, man. I'm going to take it easy. Well, guess what? You're getting paid. Do something. Okay? I did have jobs where I had to be mental and, and, and use my mental, you know, and it's hard. There's two types of work. There's stress mentally and there's stress labor, you know, for labor. There's time, you know, things, you know, you got to get things done. Doctors, listen, I've said this before on here and I'm going to say this before I close. And I know I've talked about a whole potpourri of stuff and that's okay. I can be a potpourri. I can talk about my childhood, I can talk about my sister, I can talk about my children, I can talk about what I want. Because you can't stop me. And I hope it would encourage you to do the same. If people can't handle you, they can't handle the conversation, they can't handle being real, you know, you could tone it down for a level of different type of people. You know, I'm not like this with a lot of people that ain't at my level. I'm not saying I'm like highly intelligent. All I'm doing is sharing me. Sharing my experiences. No. I don't want to hurt people, you know, being brutally truthful. Because then when they are with me, I'm like, oh, God, you made me cry. So you're going to dish it out, be able to take it. Always know that, you know, there is fear in life. God gave us fear. A lot of people are all over Facebook going, oh, I got courage. I don't have fear. Get over it. Hey, man, I want fear. Fear is a good thing. It depends on if it paralyzes you or not. If you have fear, it could be like, oh, Lord, you know, pick that stuff up. That baby's going to swallow it. If you have fear, I'm not going to go through that yellow light because, it's, you know, I I'm going to risk it in this intersection. Fear is always a good thing because it lets you know you need to fix something. If you have anger, you need to fix something. Something in your life needs to be adjusted. So do it. So it's Miss Cool coming at you saying I'm not perfect. You know, seems like somehow or another we all really do have the answers. We just have to find them. They're really in ourselves. They're not in others. You know, so I hope this video touched somebody today. I know my daughter likes my shout out. She's like, I really like Miss Cool Mom. She's real. She's, she's going to be honest with you and she's going to be straight. The part about it that's really cool is to just vocalize it, sing about it, do do some art, do do some something creative. People are creative, trust me. That's why they said that you know conversations and art. You know, if you've had if you have a big enough vocabulary, use it. You know, I know people that have read the dictionary. Myself, I just breeze through it. People are lazy today. They got Alexa. They're gonna say, "Hey Alexa, how you spell this?" You know, everything's fast. You know, my microwave's too slow. You know, everything's... Eh, nobody's going to watch a tree grow. And, and that saying is stupid anyway. Are you going to watch it grow? Can they rephrase that like... No, they can't rephrase that because they wanted it to be that way. But it's Miss Cool saying, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. And uh, to my children that support me. I've got some wonderful children. Can I just tell you guys that? They're so wonderful. My son Christopher, he's awesome. I could cry right now. He's overcome so much. He says, I'm his hero. You're my hero. My daughter Jamie, she's a wonderful, wonderful person. Wonderful mother, intelligent, reads a lot. She's got a really big a vocabulary on beautiful words. Just really, you know. She's intellectual, but hides it. And then there's Coco. My baby with that put fake gold on. He's the boss. Y'all want to see the picture I made for him? Okay. I'm taking it up to him today. Can you see that? So, you know, when you have children, you know, they're all different, but the same. So as Miss Cool saying, have a good day, man. I can't believe I've been able to do this long of a shout out. That's about it, though. I'll be back at you, though. It's Miss Cool saying, have a wonderful day. I dye, I colored my hair. I think it's a little dark, but you know, one of these days, I'm just going to let it get gray and it'll be fun. Because I think gray's cool, too. 
So have a wonderful day. It's Miss Cool Say, hey, make sure you're real.